Hello and welcome back to Guard Your Gold, or editing it in the editor. So let's see, this is what version 2 looked like, you know, just a plain map. I guess it's not really plain, but it's, yeah, this is what it looked like. Just a quick uh, review, and let's go to version 3 that we're currently editing. Right here, so a lot more design, more like... I don't even know, it's just a remake, so you can even tell the massive difference just by looking at the terrain, so that's the good thing. Um, anyways, let's jump right into the triggers. What were we going to do? Random events. We were going to start that from last day. So what we're going to do here is jump right in. We're not going to waste any time. So we got to think of some random events. Now, um, what I'm going to do is is uh, first make some armies. So you go to triggers, army editor. Oh, you already have... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I didn't know I already have. Okay, so I already have some armies, and um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna name each random event starting with random. So random deploy, random army one. Now this basically does. Uh, it gives a. I'm gonna explain. It just gives a random, like. It gives a free army to player one, but obviously this is for everyone. So wait, that means I don't need numbers. Okay, so random army, and I'm gonna loop this, and I'm gonna tell you why. This is gonna be a pretty complex trigger system, but let's see. Quest war check. So what I'm gonna do here is um, e what am I gonna make it uh, random? Random value one. If it's value one, then quest war set uh, random. Oops, random value zero. So this means it's not gonna keep looping, only if it gets chosen again. And now we're gonna army deploy. Army deploy. Bam. All right, so army deploy player one. Uh, what are we gonna do? Hippicon, Hippicon, yes. So we're gonna give him a free Hippicon. Um, should I only make it Hippicon or just everything? Or what? what is this? No, no, everything, because if they get a Hippicon bonus and the enemy doesn't have a Hippicon bonus, it's already an unfair advantage. So he gets a free Hippicon plus a free uh, Toxotes, wait, Q-R-S-T-U, so T-O-X, Toxotes, he gets a free Toxote unit, and lastly he gets a free Hoplite. Perfect, so he gets one of each three, so there's no unfair advantage. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other players. Oh great, I hope this is not going to glitch up because uh, army deploy triggers are really glitchy, especially online, so we are going to have to test this out. Speaking of which, I would be happy to test this map out with you guys. So, you, you could just uh, tell me if you want to test it out, you know, and that would be just dandy. Now, on other notes, I actually have some stuff to talk about on this one. Um... I, like, when I started making videos, I would have thought that all my viewers were, you know, from English-speaking countries, because, you know, these are English videos, completely English, there's no other language inserted in, uh, so, yeah, I was really surprised that most of my fans are from Europe, Hippic, oh, here it is, yeah, most of the people are from Europe, um, now I'm fine with it, because I understand they speak English, too, English is a worldwide language, I guess, and... What I don't understand, however, is how some people who don't speak English whatsoever view my videos. Now, like, I had, I added a person on Skype because he sent me a request, and he started talking to me in Portuguese. He's from Brazil. So we started talking in Portuguese. I understood almost nothing. Like, I understand a few things, but, you know, I don't speak Portuguese, so I didn't actually understand it. And, yeah, let me just test if we get free units or not. I didn't understand it, so it's like, how do you view my videos if you don't speak English? Okay, so we don't get units. Because um, that's that's really messed up, like, wow. So I couldn't really ask him that since he couldn't uh, understand my question, since, you know, it was English. Um, and I might remove him from contacts, but like, I already mentioned this in another vid uh, video, I don't like to remove people because I don't want to offend you guys, you know? But... I might start removing people just because either I never talk to you or I don't know just just stuff um I don't know if I'm gonna start doing it because it it could offend you and stuff um uh, anyways yeah on a side note I was talking with Norse Force on Game Ranger I'm not sure if he still views my videos or not but he was 
acting like such well he was acting pretty uh childish you know so he was like i don't even know what he just acted childish and you know really really annoying so i decided to block him for one hour i didn't tell him it was for one hour well i tried to tell him but he already blocked me so i couldn't tell him it was only for one hour so um what was i gonna say yeah i blocked him for an hour and then the next day he realized he was unblocked and then he on messaged me only to tell me that he blocked me so then i unblocked him i still haven't unblocked but you know it's like he's pretty childish i never even realized that anyways what we're gonna do now is uh, what are we going to do mate um hmm, i gotta think um where is my game trigger settings i gotta get my settings now just in case i gotta get quest war set quest war set random variable zero so value zero um save now let's go back to random events and uh, let's do send chat from player zero. Uh, random event. I gotta get some colors in here. Random event. Ooh, speaking of which, what color should it be? Should it be red? Should it be. What should it be? Uh, hmm. I think it will be purple, but I forgot the color code for purple. Um, by the way, the color system, so it goes like this, um, color equals like one zero zero. Okay. So it's red, green, blue. So right now I'm inserting 100% of red, zero of green, zero of blue. And you can do, uh, 50% of red, 50% of green, and then 0% of blue. Wait, what's red and green combined with no blue? I gotta test this. Um, let me just... I, I don't know why I'm curious, but I want to see this. Okay, so we're going to insert a random trigger running immediately. Send chat from player zero. And test color. All right, so let's see what color this is. Play test. It says... What is that? That's like yellow green. I don't know. That's the ugliest color I've seen. Let's just <laughs> do something else. We're not going to do that for a random event color. So what I'm going to do is open up another map of mine um, called Treasure in the Desert, where I also did some random events. Oh, here it is. Um, random events. And basically, I actually had good colors in this one. So let's see. Message. No, no, I need a random event that has colors. Event 1. Oh, that's what I should name mine. Event 1, not something random. Okay, here's purple. So 0 0.45, 0 0.15, 0. Oh, I mean 1.0. Okay, so what we're gonna do is load guard your gold. And we're gonna try to like uh, I don't know shorten down this code. See if we can still keep it purple, but like in a shorter manner. So send chat from player zero. Um, paste something. Now we're gonna do 0 0.5, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is purple. This is clearly purple. You can see this is a perfect purple. Now, I want to see what it looks like. It's violet, actually, but I want to see what it looks like if I put it to 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. This is going to be more maroon or red, I think. Let's see. No, this is still purple. This is just dark purple. So the other one was better because it's lighter. You can easily see the color. So you can see it better if it's lighter. So what I'm gonna do is 0 0.2 cut, oops, cut, and delete this trigger. Paste it in here. So should I do random army or event army? Perfect. Event army one. Oh, I don't know if I have to separate these triggers or not. That's that's a tough choice. I don't know if I. I'm gonna have to test that. See, I told you I might have to test these maps with you guys. So I'd be happy to test it. Um, what am I doing? Uh, uh, underline random event, underline end, color end, random event, random event, uh, what am I doing? Random event. Oh, yeah. Everyone gets free units? I don't know. Everyone gets, what do I call it? I don't want to say Hippicon, Hoplite, and Toxes. That's too long. Everyone gets a free army. Everyone gets a free group. Everyone gets a free 
free group of units. Everyone gets some military units. Everyone gets some free military units. Now let's see if this chat fits in. Um, so what we're gonna do is, in two seconds, we will make Quest War 1, Quest War set, uh, random, no, 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 we gotta get a different Quest War. So this is random, this is event 1. Um, event 1, value 1, now we gotta fix the other one now. So, settings, ah, uh, great, settings, um, event 1, and lastly we gotta fix the, the first trigger, event 1. Save. I gotta save it because in case any problem happens, I've had such bad experiences where I didn't save the map and you know just things happen. So it sucked. Um, wait two seconds. Okay, okay, let's test this. So player test. Okay, first let me pause the game to see if everything is functioning. Yep, yeah, we don't have any free units yet. And first, I want to spawn some uh, lighthouses so I can get free line of sight in their bases. Now, this way I can check if they get uh, free units too or not. So, zero, one, two, okay. Free units. Everyone gets free units. Now, let's see. I made it looped. Let's see if we get more. We don't get more. Okay, so this means the trigger is fully functioning. No glitches. Everything is perfectly working. There are no problems, like I said. Now, I gotta do one more thing. I gotta test this online, because trust me, it works way differently if we do it online rather than in here. You would not even believe it, but that's another story. I've had uh, maps where basically I only tested it in the editor, and when I tested first time online, when I thought I was done with the map, everything crashed. Everything just stopped working, because uh, I don't even know. It's like online works differently for some triggers like army deploy and stuff like that more mostly the army triggers are different online so let's see if this works Whew, let's see come on i hope it oh i just no i just took out the trigger i'm an idiot ah uh, i just took out the trigger the okay hold on let me just find testing does this still have it Random. Yes, it still has it. Okay, so we're gonna try to do testing. I can't believe I just took out the trigger. Wow. Okay, testing. This is the same map, but um, this is what I had from when I last tested it in the scenario editor. So it's it's basically I still have the trigger in there that I already deleted in my real map. All right, let's see if it works. So in two seconds, everybody gets an army. Go. Yep, it works. Fully functional. I don't know if they got one too, but uh, I hope they did. I'm gonna resign and see if they got some or not. All right, they didn't get any. See, it works. Uh, I gotta test it. I gotta test it with someone. Hold on, I'm gonna pause the recording. All right, so I honestly think everything will be working fine. It's just that um, when we use the trigger army deploy for computers online, then you know it's a bit uh, different. We need a different trigger for that. That uh, it's just a glitch. But I'm assuming if they're not computers, then nothing, I mean, then there will be no problems. So I'm going to test it with a player right now. And any second he's going to connect, I hope. Oh, he's not. Hold on. And now he's connecting. All right. So that's me, of course. Let me just download it. I'm going to go random gods, I guess, just for fun. Not really making a difference in this, but all right. Random gods. Oh, hey, I clicked random. Why didn't it? I don't know why I'm so worried about random gods. Okay, there, random gods. All right, so what we're going to... Well, I'm going to test at least is uh, if player two... Oh, no, wrong map. Ugh, I got to do testing. Is if player two gets a free spawn or not? Oh, no, he has to download that too. All right, so... Yeah, in testing, you know, you saw the, the spawning... I mean the quest variable changing trigger that I inserted. So, yep, we gotta test that. Hmm. All right. Um. Go, mate. Come on. Okay, I got a free army. Let's see if he got it too. He also got it. Now I'm got it's yeah. I'm gonna move it right beside my tower here so you can see it maybe in the video. Um. Okay. Let's see. It should be right here. 
Oh, you can't see it. The line of sight is not big enough. I'm going to garrison in the tower. See? Right there. Oh, you can see it. And he garrisoned in the tower, too. So he did get units, but the computers didn't. So that means the map is... What is it? <laughs> what are the computers doing? <laughs> the map is working, <laughs> but I don't know what the computers are doing. Oh, okay. He's just getting food. This is another small effect I did. I changed the arrows and stuff, you know, make it more effective. Just pretty. All right, let me just uh, rerun the game because right now I'm running it through Vubly. And any friends on Vubly will be thinking I'm up for a game, but no, I'm recording right now. So one sec. All right, so the problem with uh, the editor clips is that I always like to edit maps at 2 a.m. or something like that. And obviously, I'm not going to commentate at that time. So it's like... It's hard to get these commentaries for the editor editing clips, you know. Um, and besides, I, I just, it's hard to say, I don't know. Um, there was something else I was going to say. But whatever, at least the event worked, so we are good with this random event. Now, we are going to add some more, obviously. Let's see, we're going to add free resources, of course. So how much do we start with? Okay, we start with a, a dandy amount. So I'm going to add event 5k gold so everyone gets 5,000 gold obviously and first we're going to do quest war check by the way quest war in case you don't know what it means quest variable that's what it stands for anyways event one wait 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 did I name it event one or event uh oh I hope I didn't name it event one because it doesn't have to be event one it just event come on uh Okay, event. Now I have to rename all of them. Event. Um, uh, what? Oh, okay. So event. Scroll up. Event. Event. Save. So if event is one, then that happens. If event is two, then that happens. Oh, um, just in case I get lost, I'm going to name it event one army, event two, 5k. Okay, so now it's a lot more organized. So anyways, quest war set, event zero. Um, grant resources player range. Grant, there it is. Gold over 5,000. Over 9,000. No, 5,000. And um, send a chat, of course. Uh... I have so many triggers I can't even find. Oh, here it is. Okay, now I'm going to copy paste whatever I had here for random event. Copy, paste. Let's go in here. All right, let's paste it. Just like that, mate. All players get 5,000 gold. Perfect. We're good. We're good. I don't know how they pronounce good, actually. but Okay, we're good with event 2. We're not even going to have to test this one. This seems to be a fully functioning trigger. There are no risks in this one only army deploys are the risky ones so this is good now what's gonna be event three i'm gonna make a new trigger action event three uh we got some god powers nobody has god powers yet that'd be a good idea 